Today on Emberstone, we're going to sidetrack a little bit from the way we normally do things. Generally, we would have a fun let's play and show you all kinds of stuff around the map. But today I'm going to show you how to get crops in the ground the easiest way if you have a direct drill seeder. So that includes either these, the Vader Stead, or maybe you have the Kinsey. Both of these will work perfectly fine. If you have something like the Amazon Saiten that you have unlocked, or maybe you have the k brand or the Smallest Nordsten, well, in that case, you're gonna need a cultivator or a plow or even a subsoiler to make that happen. Same goes for planters. If you have anything other than the Kinsey, you're gonna need one of the cultivator, <laughs> subsoiler, or a, uh, a plow beforehand. Speaking of subsoilers, I've already gone through with the Alpago that we have base game. It farms some 23. I've already gone through and I've hit all of my fields with those so one two and three they've all been done and they're basically just sitting around waiting so i'm gonna show you what i would do first and it involves this guy the amazon fertilizer spreader we have two solid fertilizer spreaders in the game however this bad boy right here this one's my favorite we are going to need some solid fertilizer we can either go to the farm storage which is 1920 bucks or we could go to the fertilizer tank which is 1600 dollars per thousand liters so we are going to fertilizer tank which is at the top left hand corner of the map here we go this is our spot we'll pull forward we'll get the tag and solid fertilizer there we go i am using the smaller john deere so it might be a little bit heavy for it but i think will be just fine. It is going to take a little bit of money as well, so <laughs> be ready for that. And yeah, we're gonna be coming back here for herbicide and for seed. So $5,100 for all of that, but this is gonna last us a long time. So the cool thing about this, got a 42 meter spread. So we're just gonna come right up here. Uh-oh, hang on. We got a button that needs to be pushed. Let's go into settings real quick and let's double check to make sure that the worker is not buying anything and they are so we need to turn these things off real quick or else it is going to cost you so much money it ain't even funny the difficult part here is you can't really see where they've been you can see there's a little strip right there maybe at the top middle hand corner of your screen uh it, yeah there's there's really not much you can see if we come side to side then you can see it a little bit more clearly and then we'll just come right here hire them up on a worker and rock and roll cool so that is fertilizing done but again no matter what you're doing i highly recommend that you do fertilizing first if you have a cedar that does fertilizer which there's nothing wrong with uh well then you can pretty much skip this step if you want to or you can skip the last step either way next step is going to be seeding and again this is where you would cultivate or maybe plow or anything like that as long as that fertilizer goes down before you modify the ground which is seed fertilize stuff like that you'll be good to go let's take this let's fill it up with seed oh forgot to check the prices hang tight a minute so again here is another recommendation of it farm storage thousand dollars 80 fertilizer tank 899 so we're saving what is that 181 bucks something like that so much cheaper and now we're here with our cedar let's go ahead and fill up with seeds but again this is another one of those things that is going to be quite expensive and another thing i found out is if you've got zero dollars you can't do anything you can't hire a worker you can't do this you can't do that so don't don't get zero dollars because this is a game where you could possibly get in a position where you, you gotta start selling stuff but you can't lease it you had to buy it so you could get in a point where you basically lose and hopefully we don't get to that point now we get to figure out which one we want to go with which crop we want to go with so there are quite a few um i think at least for now let's just go with old trusty oats we'll go ahead and turn on the cedar and let that drop down again this is a direct drill so it's going to till up the ground for us as well as put that seed in the ground bring it about right there drop it down let it do its thing bring it here and then hire a new worker and we're going to see a texture change here at the back you see a little difference between the right and the left and since i've got more than one field to do today uh, i'm just gonna grab my other set and go fill this up with seed and do it while we wait so now that our cedar is done we can come around here and look at the bottom right hand corner and you can see a few things that it'll tell us so of course it says its own crop type is oats growth is growing yield bonus is 50 percent fertilized 50 percent and weeds are growing hmm if it's in blue you probably need to pay attention to it plowing is going to be down there as well so what we're going to do is we are going to come through and 
herbicide to field or put herbicide down. You'll see. For this one, I'm gonna use the John Deere 4755. This works absolutely perfectly. Oh, just sprinkle you. Think about, oh, a new achievement. Sweet. I get a few of those in this video off screen. There we go. We'll hook up to this. And again, you guessed it. We're gonna be heading off. We need to jump into prices and take a look and see where herbicide is gonna be the cheapest. I've never seen it cheaper on the farm, but you never know. Did I go past it? I definitely went past it. Where is herbicide? I have no idea where it is. It was at the bottom. I'm an idiot, and for some reason, liquid fertilizer is is here now. Well, that's interesting. That was not in the pre-release of the game. All right, nonetheless, uh, herbicide is definitely cheaper at fertilizer tanks. We're gonna go there. But I need to figure out this whole liquid fertilizer thing. Found it. It's in the Hardy Mercury. Uh, maybe that was there all along, but uh, I don't remember it. Nonetheless, uh, it's definitely not going in this sprayer. This is for herbicide only. Just clarification. Uh, yeah, you can only put herbicide in here. No biggie. All right, so now we got our sprayer back over to the main farm. Let's unfold. Let's set it up. And then we are just going to, again, hire them on a worker. It's a whole lot easier if you do it that way. You don't have to do the work yourself, which makes everything nice i like to unfold the sprayer first because with this one stuff's a little bit more expensive per liter and it just makes it nice so there we go hire it on a worker if you hire on a worker and it doesn't work it just means that the herbicide is not ready yet so that should help you guys out there this one's a little bit more tricky because it is the hardest to see and even if we back up all the way you can't really see maybe maybe not can't really see so that's why i say hire a worker on this and you'll be fine and now finally there's only one more thing left to do we can come over to the field you can see nothing growing there at the bottom right hand corner so we will not see weeds at all here yield bonus is at 70 percent now giving us like 20 percent bonus just from herbicide and finally the last coup de gras solid fertilizer one more time this is what i was talking about if you guys are doing uh solid fertilizer in your cedars for example you don't need to do the first or this last step i would recommend omitting the first step so go through and do your cultivating or whatever like that put your seeds in the ground then come through with the herbicide and then oh boy uh we got a meet and greet here get out of here i'm still trying to do all of my fields so that i can get it all done there we go all right coming around Turn on them. Oh, I pressed the button for Farm Sim 22, not 23. Crap. I got to get that one sorted. And now that everything is done, we can look at the bottom right hand corner and see oats growing 100%, fertilized 100%. That means all of our work is done. 